Say to the guy next to you, this is the word of God. If you take it to a heart, it will change your heart. If you apply it to your life, you, you will benefit from it. It will save your life. It will keep you from going wrong. In Jesus' name. The Bible says the word of God is a lamp for our feet, a light unto our path. Amen. We cannot go wrong if we remain in his word. Therefore remain in him and he will remain in you with his blessing, with his healing, with his joy and his strength. And nothing will be impossible for you, even in a foreign country under the wicked king, like for example Daniel. He was under a wicked king near Nebuchadnezzar, and these guys believed in foreign worship, and he kept on worshiping Jesus, him and his friends. And they've been in a fiery furnace. And the guys who threw them in there, they themselves burned up. But they were walking there with someone else there as the son of man. Guess who that was? That was Jesus. Satan God next to you, he will be with you. If you do not compromise, he will be with you. In Jesus' name. Compromise is the most dangerous thing for a Christian. The moment you compromise, your Christianity is weakened. You can maybe make mistakes here and there because we make mistakes. And you can be weak here and there, but never compromise in Jesus' name. Say on his word, I will act. What made David such an awesome man? God said about David, I found a man after my own heart. Say, God is looking for hearts. He's looking for hearts. He found a man after his own heart that will do anything that God tell him to do. That's one thing about David. Everything that God asked him to do, he did. He made mistakes in his life. And he sinned. And he committed severe sins. But when God asked something of him, he did it. As God has told him. What made him a man after God's own heart? His obedience when God spoke to him. Although he made, made terrible mistakes and committed grievous sins that costed him his household and costed him many things, still, the Bible says in the book of Acts, God found in David a man after his own heart that will do anything that God asked him to do. I mean, what had Saul done? When God told him through, through the prophet Samuel, kill these people, kill their cattle, everything. What did he do? He did not do what God wanted him to do. Both these men made mistakes. They both sinned. What is the difference between the two? The one did everything that God asked him to do. The other one compromised on what God commanded him to do. Say on his word, I will build even an ark. I will get out of the boat. This is what is making me a man of God. With all my mistakes and my weaknesses, I'll do anything that he asks me to do. You should do the same. Say to the you should do exactly the same. I know I'm, I'm, I've got many weaknesses and I made mistakes in the past and, 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 and still make mistakes. But if God tells me to do something, I make sure I do it. Satyr Ghani said, you should do the same. That was what made David a man after God's own heart. And that, that was how Saul lost the kingdom. He did not obey God when God spoke to him. Amen. 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 When God speaks to you, obey. Amen. And do exactly what He tells you to do, and it will go well with you. Amen. You will be in the house of the Lord forever. Because that is the promises to those who obey God. David said, My desire is to be in the house of, of God forever. And He is in the house of God forever. And I want to be in the house of God forever as well. Amen. Ask the guy next to you. And you answer. Of course, yes. Hallelujah. 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 
Now don't say, ah, oh, okay, my mistakes is okay. And you work on your mistakes. I mean, don't make too many mistakes. Because if you make a habit of your mistakes, it becomes a sinful lifestyle. I mean, too many mistakes means that you are now, you live a life of sin. You should work on your weaknesses and bring them, bring them to God, to the cross. And say, Jesus, reduce my weaknesses. Because he said, you will be holy like I'm holy. And you shall be perfect like my Father in heaven is perfect. And without holiness, no one will see God. I mean, that holiness is in Jesus. And you get that by remaining in him and join yourself to him in faith. And when you remain in him and in his word, he will remain in you with his blessings and his life and his promises. Hallelujah. Remain in him. Ask the guy next to you, how do, you, how do I remain in him? By obeying his words. Because he speaks to you from heaven through his word. Today we got his word. This is God's final word to mankind, is his word. All other gifts of the Spirit and prophecies and all the other things is just confirming the greatest prophetic word ever from heaven, which is his word.